there are over 35 medical universities in Georgia but the ones I'm going to mention are the ones as Indian students who are basically international students in Georgia the fees for hostel and food that is living expenses one of the few universities that actually give scholarships to their students hello i'm jaden gumindish from trafco education and in this video we are going to discuss about the complete guide on studying mbbs in georgia which will include the university fees hostel how is the life in georgia and what is the right option for you so without any further ado let's get right into the video for clarity i'm going to speak about the living expenses first and then we would speak about each individual fees only so that there is no confusion between the hostel food and living expenses and the university fees that you will have in georgia as indian students who are basically international students in georgia the fees for hostel and food that is living expenses remain same all throughout georgia in terms of living expenses in georgia you can divide that into two major living expenses that you will have number one which is your hostel and food and number two which is your personal expenditure now in the whole of georgia any good hostel maybe a three sharing or a four sharing including two meals per day that is lunch and dinner should range anywhere from 200 to 300 dollars per month personal expenditure on the other hand which includes transportation shopping going out and just your personal needs that you may have range anywhere from 50 dollars to 100 dollars in the whole of georgia which brings your average total to 250 to 350 dollars per month or 20,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees for your hostel which may be a three sharing or four sharing your food which will be two meals a day and your personal expenditure which will be shopping transportation and any personal expenditure or personal needs that you will have now getting into the main part that is which university is right for you or which university should you choose while looking at Georgia to study your MBBS in Georgia the universities are divided into two government or private unlike india government medical colleges in georgia have higher fees compared to the private medical colleges in georgia because there are very few number of government colleges in georgia compared to the very high number of private medical colleges there in georgia talking about our top three picks in terms of government medical college our first preference would be TSMU, which is the Tbilisi State Medical University, located in the heart of Tbilisi. Founded in the year 1918, it is one of the oldest universities in Tbilisi as of today. Being a government university, TSMU has the highest fees in Georgia of $8,000 per year, bringing your total six years medical education to 40 lakhs for all six years combined. Now, why choose TSMU? It's one of the top three universities in Georgia, being one of the few universities which have students that have already gone to the UK by answering PLAB, which means that this university is completely recognized by the General Medical Council in the UK, which a lot of students from India are looking to go. Our own Indian students after finishing MBBS here look to go to the UK and seeing that students from TSMU have already been able to do that over the past few years, it is a very good sign that the university has a high level of education and you can study that. The next university is Batumi Shota Rustaveli Medical University. Batumi Shota was founded in the year 1945, which is also another old university in Georgia. If you see most of the government medical colleges are over 50 years old, which goes to show that if you studied there, you would already have a rich culture of students that have passed out, students that have gone forward to become doctors for already practicing doctors within Georgia and outside Georgia. Talking about the fees at Batumi Shota, the yearly fees are $5,500. Your total fees would come to 30 lakhs for all six years of medical education. Now, a lot of students ask, sir, if we chose Batumi, how do we get there? You would have to either take a flight to Tbilisi and then take another flight to Batumi, or you could fly to Tbilisi and then take a train, which is around about six hours to get to Batumi. It is not too far and you won't be making the journey too many times, maybe once or twice a year. So the distance is not a factor from Tbilisi as long as it's in Georgia and it follows the same norms of medical education and is within the rules and regulations set by the NMC in India. Batumi in itself is a very beautiful place, much like Dubai, if you see. Very well developed, good infrastructure, good buildings, a good locality. More importantly, a very safe place for you to study if you're looking for a region within Georgia. And hence, you can still choose this university if you're looking to pursue medicine. There. The next government college in Georgia is the Akaki Seretali State University, located in Kutaisi 
which is another city four hours away from Tbilisi. Akaki is also one of the oldest universities being founded in the year 1930. Akaki is also one of the most affordable government medical colleges in Georgia with fees of only $4,000 per year or 20 lakhs per year entire six years of medical education. This brings the end of the government medical colleges in Georgia and we will now move on to the private medical colleges within Georgia. When you look at universities in Georgia, there are over 35 medical universities in Georgia. But the ones I'm going to mention are the ones that most of our Indian students are currently studying at and have chosen over the past three, four or even five years. Talking about our top three picks of private medical colleges in Georgia, at number one is the SEU Georgian National University located in the heart of Tbilisi. If you type Georgia on Google, you will see the Peace Bridge, the mother of Georgia, and you'll be happy to know that SU is just a 10 minute walk away from most of these major attractions in Georgia. Now, the main reason why students pick SU is because of its good balance between education as well as co-curricular activity. Talking about its co-curriculars, if you search up SU online, you will see that SU celebrates most of the festivals such as Holi, Diwali, Christmas are celebrated by the university within the campus. So students get a wide variety of exposure, not just with education, but also with co-curricular activity. SU has a newly built campus which means that if you pick SU you'll get to study in a very modern style classrooms. Now the fees at the SU Georgia National University you will be paying a fees of $5,500 per year or a complete package of 28 to 29 lakhs for all six years of medical education. They are affiliated to one of the top hospitals in Tbilisi, which is the American hospital Tbilisi. This hospital has some of the leading uh, breakthroughs in medicine when it comes to Georgia, which means that SCU students have exclusive access to this hospital, wherein our students can get access to each part or each department of the hospital, which you don't see elsewhere. Students of SU, since being in the heart of Tbilisi, also get exposure from various other hospitals surrounding the university, which are almost have a combined bed capacity of over 5,300 beds, which is very important when it comes to the hands-on training during your medical education in Georgia. We're going to the second best university in the private sector in Georgia is the DTMU or David Twindlani Medical University. If there is one thing prioritized at DTMU, that is education. And if you are looking to ace any entrance exam, exams after your medical education, DTMU would be the top pick for you. So even though most universities have a requirement of 50% and so does DTMU, DTMU makes it a point that you can repeatedly score over 80% in your medical education throughout. Hence, they have major exams known as filter exams after two and a half years of education. Now this filter exam will filter out all the students from the batch that aren't competent enough and that is something very unique to DTME which makes sure that they have only the cream of students studying at their institution. Now another point about DTMU is that DTMU has not just one but two campuses. One in Tbilisi and one in Rustavi. DTMU is one of the only university that has the hostels in the university campus. So DTMU students can live on campus, their food is on campus including their education happens all in one campus area and that is something that is unique to only DTMU that is the David Twinlani Medical University. The fees at DTMU are slightly high starting at $6,000 per year. However, a lot of students ask me, sir can I get a scholarship while studying MBBS in Georgia? Well, let me tell you, DTMU is one of the few universities that actually gives scholarships to their students. But that scholarship is based on your merit while studying at the university. For example, if you score over 85% in your first year, DTMU will give a 25% scholarship on your second year fees which means that instead of paying six thousand for your second year you'll be paying only four thousand five hundred dollars for your second year again if you score over 90 percent in your first year you will get a complete 50 percent off on your second year fee which means that instead of six thousand now you'll be paying only three thousand dollars for your second year fees and the best scholarship that they have is if you've scored over 95 percent in your first year you can study your second year for hundred percent scholarship which means instead of six thousand dollars you will now be studying completely for free these are the scholarships available at dtm however the first year fees of six thousand dollars are compulsory and the scholarship start from second year and go up till your sixth year so technically best case scenario if you manage to score 95 percent 
in each year of studying at DTMU, you could study your entire six year medical education for only $6,000, which approximately turns to 5 lakh rupees for your entire six years of medical education, which is something very unique to DTMU. And if you have been a meritorious student in your 10th or 12th, have been scoring over 85% in your 10th and 12th boards, I think DTMU would be just the right option for you. Third pick for private medical universities in Georgia is the Avicenna Batumi Medical College located in the region of Batumi. Now Batumi is six hours away from Georgia, but the best part about this university is the fee, which are on the affordable side, probably one of the most affordable fees when it comes to medical education in Georgia. The fees at Avicenna are only $4,000 per year or under rupees 20 lakhs for entire six years of medical education. No other university has such low fees when it comes to studying medicine in Georgia. Also, the Avicenna Batumi Medical University is affiliated to the Med Center group of hospitals, which is one of the top hospital groups in Georgia and hence can get a good hands-on training besides their classroom in their complete medical education in Georgia. These were our top picks when it comes to private as well as government medical colleges and which are some of the most prestigious ones to study at. When picking a university, it's much more than just a university. It's also about your needs and what are you looking for. Are you looking for a college that is more focused on education? Or are you looking for a college that's more focused on a well-balanced experience over the next six years that you're going to have in a country abroad? These are the important factors you need to consider besides obviously your budget for the entire six years of medical education and also the marks that you have been able to obtain in your 12th boards as well as your need. If you need help selecting which university is best for you, call on the number below for a free consultation session with myself or one of my team members, wherein which we will help find a university based on you and your need. And once you've found the right college based on your needs, the next step is admission procedure, which you can watch right here. All the best and I'll see you as a doctor.